This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Dropcam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash Dropcam. Next up, we've got uh, Rob Filippo. Did Flippo, I say yeah. that? Okay. Uh, with Mobile Help. What is, uh, what is Mobile Help? So Mobile Help, uh, several years back, developed a personal emergency response system that allows seniors to leave their homes for, for the first time okay. and still have the protection of an emergency response system. So it's a ball device that they take with them when they leave. And if they have an issue away from home, they press a button and they talk to one of our operators who can tell who they are and where they're at based on GPS coordinates. So if they need help remotely, we can, we can get them help. And that's really what we launched with several years ago. Okay. What type of... Uh what type of range does something like that have? So it's it's cellular based. So anywhere there's good cellular coverage, the product will work and, and work well. Um, so we have uh, customers in every state, um, including Alaska and Hawaii, that use our products to protect themselves. And this are, year, we're are you only in the United States? Uh, yes, right right now we're in uh, in the U.S. only. Okay. So. Um, this year, we're actually expanding our products into a couple of new areas um, since we've gotten very good at sort of cellular connectivity and being able to provide really safe um, service over cellular networks. We introduced a uh, in-home cellular station last year that we're now adding um, activity monitoring capabilities and medication reminders to mm -hmm. that device to, to really extend the range of why that unit is in your house. Okay. People don't want these devices in general. It makes them feel old and they, like they <laughs> two two feet in the grave if they if they need a medical dev alarm device. But because we're mobile, we, we get much younger uh, users and adopters, and, and now trying to come up with other reasons for having these products in your home. Yeah, well, I have parents uh, that are, are 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 getting up there in age, and and of course, my dad just went in for uh, surgery, um, and uh, and he's now in a wheelchair uh, for the next few months as as the healing process continues. So yeah, I, I get very concerned because I've heard the stories about how my. Uh, how my mom or my dad fell, and the other one couldn't help, and so they uh, they were sure. they had to call uh, something. But what if one of them wasn't even there when Absolutely. when something like that? So, uh, so I totally understand on that. So what well, you got a couple different products here. So yeah, so I also those. have um, our automatic fall detection pendant, which we launched this this past year. Okay, that um, al allows you to send an emergency signal even if you fall down and you're unconscious and you're unable to press a button yourself. So. The fall detection device can detect that you've fallen, send a, send a signal in home or away from home because it's, it also signals the, the mobile unit okay. in, in that same event. So you don't have to reach for it. You don't have to find it on your person um, and, still, and still get help. One of the byproducts of that is that in order to tell if you've fallen, we have to monitor your activity all day long and mm -hmm. compare it against what a fall looks like in terms of electrically what a fall looks like. Okay, That's what allows us to do nice, robust activity monitoring because we're already taking that data. So now we use our, our uh, system to transmit the data to our cloud servers, present it to a caregiver, and now on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, you can monitor how active mom or, or grandma has been, mm -hmm. which is, as we know, is generally a good indication of a health trend. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're excited to be able to offer that as well. So is there any kind of range or reception concerns with this? So. No, not not really. Again, we've um, we're using the AT and T network for for the cellular connectivity, and we really haven't had issues at all with uh, with connectivity for the for either one of the devices. The range of the pendant to the uh, base station in the yeah. home is 600 feet, so oh, wow. we don't have Good. we don't really have issues there. Okay. Um, and it's again sending data through the base station or the mobile device to our cloud server on a fairly regular basis, so that we can collect collect and, and display that data. What type of uh, battery life do, do these devices get? So the pendant with fall detection active is about 18 months. Um, oh, okay. And it's on all the time, and, and the, the customers just send it back. We, we send them a new one oh, wow. when we get a low battery signal because we it's, it's supervised, so it'll tell us when the battery is going to be low and gives us about two or three weeks to send them a new one, and they receive it, and it works fine out of the box. The uh, mobile device has about a 35-hour battery life, so it's charged on a daily basis much okay. like your cell phone. Yeah. It comes with a small charging cradle, so the user just sets it in the, 
cradle and it stays charged up. And when they leave, they take it, take okay. it with them. So that would be perfect for, like, if right. they came to Vegas or something like that. Sure. And so as you, you as a caregiver, as you mentioned, if, you're, if your mom or dad did have an issue and they press the button, one of the things that you get is a map. And um, we can send you a, a link to our caregiver tools. And the map actually has a pin drop of where the emergency happened. And you'll also receive an email of what the resolution is. Because a lot of times people have issues. They fall down and they tell us, send my neighbor over to help me get up. And it's as simple as that. Okay. So you would receive a message that mom press a button, you sent James over to help her get up, and everything's fine. So now you don't have to even worry because you, you get that mind, in yeah. real time. Yeah. And you don't have to wait to figure out what happened. God forbid if they were sent to the hospital, that kind of data would be recorded and sent to you as well so you could follow up. Yeah. What, uh, what type of price points are we looking at for this? It's just under $40 a month for a complete system, both in home and away from home. Um, and uh, it's been very well received. By the by, the public. Now, forty dollars is is that for one person or is that for two people? Or? We, it's it's um it, it's a system. So we, we do have a fair number of people who share the system okay. because there's an in-home station, um and we sell it with multiple pendants. Somebody can use it at home, and and another person could actually take the mobile device. So we do have a fair number of people who actually share the system. Okay. For two people. And uh, where do people go for more information? Uh, mobilehelp.com is probably the easiest way to, to get in touch with us. H-E-L-P.com, mobile help. Um, and we've got people who would be happy to explain how the system works in more detail. All right. Well, perfect. Thanks. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. It was great. Thank you. All Thank right. You. You know, if it wasn't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be doing the CES 2014 action. Dropcam is one of those sponsors. They have great prices available for cameras that you can put anywhere in your house. You know, if I had a Dropcam, I could actually set it up in the living room and see what's going on. You know, with the frigid temperatures that we had last week, I could have checked it on the house, made sure that the power was still going, or made sure that there wasn't any other problems, listened in if, there, if I could hear something, and go from there. So check it out. Go over and check out all the drop cam models go over to tpn.tv forward slash drop cam tpn.tv forward slash drop cam of course it'll help our ces 2014 coverage thank you very much drop cam